What's up guys, Skittle Rampage here. So today we have about 20 new Funko Pop leaks for anime, Marvel, TMNT, and more. And then unfortunately we do have some cancellations for Dr. Stone and Mob Psycho. So let's check it out. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I hope you're having a fantastic Tuesday. So we are fresh off of Christmas, and I just wanna say happy holidays again, and hopefully you guys had a fun Christmas this year. Now, as I mentioned, today we're back with more Funko Pop leaks, about 20 new ones today. I feel like it's been just constant like leaks and rumors lately, lots of crazy stuff for 2024. And if you haven't checked out the previous videos on the channel, just look in the last two, three weeks, we've talked about some crazy, crazy stuff. Before we continue, I do wanna do the question of the day for today's video, and that is, do you have a Funko Pop in your collection with its eyes closed? And I'm gonna go with Komagi here from Hunter Hunter. Alrighty, so first things first, I figured I would get the cancellation items out of the way. So, for Mob Psycho here, this was going to be the lineup of pops that we were going to see, including Shigeo, uh, Toichiro, Toichiro 100%, and Arataka there. So those were going to be the four pops that we could have seen in Mob Psycho. However, some accounts are saying that they were canceled. And I actually checked up on them myself as well. And it is looking like right now, basically what's happening with them is that they were never re-offered. Assuming so that the license was canceled and Funko decided to not go forward with them, basically. Now, even though Mob Psycho is pretty popular, I think this might have been a good call by Funko if they did in fact cancel it, just because with animes like Seven Deadly Sins, Mob Psycho, Dr. Stone, about what we're going to talk about in a second, these are popular animes, but they're not like My Hero Academia, Demon Slayer, Jujutsu Kaisen popularity level, in my opinion. So maybe they were kind of looking at it like, oh, this is a popular license, but will it sell well enough for us to have to pay these residuals and royalties basically to the license holder on these characters? You know, it, it probably just wasn't worth it. And when you look at what Funko has been doing recently, they've been canceling a lot of products, things you've been seeing popping up at five below, and they're probably just going through their license like uh, library and like, hey, what's not gonna work and what is going to work going forward. And that's where we bring in Dr. Stone as well. And this was going to be the lineup of Dr. Stone Pops, which did include Senku, Senku with a lab coat, Chrome, Sukasa, as well as Kohaku. And I'm personally bummed just because I'm really enjoying Dr. Stone, honestly. The recent season was fantastic as well, especially the way it ended. I can't wait for the final season. Uh, I think it's sometime in 2024, but yeah. I would say I'm definitely bummed that Dr. Stone is probably no longer coming. While I think it's great for Funko to have a variety of different animes under their belt there, like Mob Psycho and Dr. Stone, again, also with Dr. Stone, I think it might have been a good decision to not go forward with them. Though at the same time, this could have also not been a Funko decision. Maybe the license holders didn't like whatever designs Funko came up with, and they decided not to go with it altogether. Anything could have really happened here. However, as of right now, that is your update. These are not coming at the moment. Now moving on to all the brand new leaks and rumors for Pops coming in 2024. Uh, these are also shared from a Scarlet Joker and Funko Info on Instagram, so thank you so much to them. First up here, we do have The Simpsons, and we have Mr. Sparkle here, a Diamond Collection exclusive. So I, I guess that's kind of cool. Honestly, they always make Simpsons Pops, so I'm not really surprised here. But let me know if this is one that it does excite you. I know Wasatch Pop is definitely going to be jumping for joy for this one. For my TMNT fans, here's some pretty fun ones. We do have the Raphael Samurai as an exclusive. I think that one might turn out pretty cool. And then we do have the TMNT 1990 Spirit Splinter there as an exclusive as well. I'm assuming that's gonna be like a glow exclusive. It didn't mention that it was a glow, but it has to be a glow, you know? In my opinion, they've been killing it with the TMNT line lately, honestly. Like, last year we had the Power Rangers and TMNT collab, which was great. This year we've gotten a couple cool ones. We've gotten some comic covers, as well as we recently got like the Dark Leonardo there. So again, killing it with this line. So I'm sure these are gonna look fantastic. Now for Marvel, we do have a What If Season 2. And we've actually talked about these in the past, and there isn't too many crazy updates, unfortunately. It is just going to be at least eight Funko Pops, two of them being six inch pops. And I believe the series has already started, so let me know in the comments below if you are enjoying it so far, and what do you think any of these pops could be so far? Now that was everything new that was in anime. Everything going forward in this video is going to be anime. For any Yasha fans, we do have an exclusive, and that is Miroku. I think that's how you pronounce his name. Uh, so a lot of people seem to be very excited about this character. 
Bailey was the one that watched all of Inuyasha. I couldn't personally get into it, but let me know in the comments if you like this character or not. A quick One Piece update for the Zoro Nothing Happen exclusive here. It does look like it could be coming very soon here, and I actually mentioned this in my recent One Piece video, but I figured I'd mention it here as well as another update. I'm assuming by coming soon, they mean January, February, because that is when the next wave of One Piece pops is supposed to be coming, or this could release as some random one-off exclusive. I hope it's not the Funko Shop though, because this is gonna be a very popular one, and I definitely wanna get this one signed eventually by Chris Sabat. For Jujutsu Kaisen fans, we do have another Itadori pop, and we do have Itadori with Cursed Doll as an exclusive. So this one, I'm just kinda scratching my head at. I won't lie. We had Itadori with the Sukumono doll over at FYE, and that one's on Five Below's website with the special edition sticker for like six bucks, if I'm not mistaken. That thing's everywhere. FYE could barely sell them. So it's like we're getting him with another, like why? Why did this need to be made? This is such a weird choice. They're just popping out Itadori Pops for no reason at this point. Well, actually they've been doing it for a long time, but yeah. I really don't understand why all these lines can't get the Black Clover treatment. That line is like perfect right now. I know eventually they're gonna mess it up, but right now it is so well. Wave after wave after wave have been fantastic for, with Black Clover. So I'm assuming with Black Clover, they've learned that they don't just wanna fill a line as of right now. But as far as all these other lines like Naruto, Dragon Ball, My Hero Academia, they've just filled those lines with useless variations. It's just like, I don't understand. So going forward, I hope they continue to kind of dwindle down a little bit on the variations, but I don't know, here's hoping. Next up, speaking of My Hero Academia, we do have two brand new exclusives. And th this is what I'm talking about with My Hero Academia. So check this out. We have another Bakugo variant exclusive coming, and then we have Todoroki and his casual clothes. Now, I think the Todoroki, you know, Todoroki fans will be very excited about. In general, we have so many Todoroki pops, so it would just have to be something crazy, crazy good. Like the recent Glow in the Dark exclusive from uh, Volcano X that we got, that was fantastic. And then after that, we get a freaking casual clothes show. That's just so unnecessary, not needed. It just feels like they just watch a scene or watch an episode and they're like, clothes. Oh my god, he has a pencil. Make that pop now. And these are the things that people just are not buying and they're just filling up stores. So I just don't understand how they're continuing to do this over and over again and not learning that things like this are not selling on a mass scale. Granted though, they are exclusives and there was the thing going around that Funko was limiting stock on exclusives, but lately it still doesn't really seem like it. Now our final set of pops here does come from the Dragon Ball superhero movie. And this is kind of an addition to the other pops that we talked about in the past. And I'll be doing a full Dragon Ball update video here soon, just so you know, by the way. Anyways, though, the two brand new ones do include a Gohan metallic chase exclusive of him in Piccolo's clothing. Now, this is so, weird what what is going to be metallic here if this is actually true what is going to be metallic on the clothing <laughs> this is going to be like similar to where in the next wave of bleach we're getting an ichigo with a metallic chase and it's like only the sword would be you, you know like it's so weird what is this variant even going to be and the other one is orange piccolo here as a glow in the dark exclusive chase so that one i kind of understand you know they can put an aura behind him and make that glow or they, they'll probably just make him glow like a light bulb, his whole skin. And I get it, it's the whole orange thing going on, so I guess it kind of makes sense. I would prefer an aura, personally, but we'll see what they end up doing. But yeah, I, I'm still stuck on the Gohan thing. I have no idea what they're going to make metallic. Like maybe his hair and eyes, but this just seems very weird and unnecessary. Honestly though, I'm just happy that we're getting a couple pops from the movie anyways. I would really love to see the Gamma 1 and 2 in a 2 pack hopefully. Well guys, that is everything that we have for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys did see anything in this video that you're excited about, let me know in the comments below. And as a reminder, we're probably not going to be seeing these for a while, well into 2024, just so you guys know. But if you have any further questions about anything, drop a comment down below, of course. I'm going to end off the video here though. Make sure to hit that like button down below and subscribe and click that notification bell if you're new here. I do want to say a big shout out to all the amazing Patreon supporters of the channel. You guys are truly awesome for supporting myself and the channel. If you guys are interested and want to check out the Patreon, the link is down below. We have a Patreon-only Discord where we share a lot of information, news, restocks, update links, and more. And lastly, make sure you follow me on all my social medias at Skittle Rampage over on Twitter, TikTok, Instagram, and my Facebook page so you can stay up to date. All right, love you guys. See you guys in the next one. See you guys later. Bye.